Imagine coming out of a building and finding your car completely smashed in by ice and snow. Well, that's exactly what happened to a Park City resident this week. And as we brace for another winter storm, officials want people and their cars to be careful. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen explains how this all happened and how destructive falling ice and snow can be and how you can prevent it. Take a look at this aerial video of a Park City home. The roof completely collapsed from what investigators believe was heavy snow buildup. Weeks later, the damage is still visible from the street. The people had heard a loud like bangs approximately 30 minutes prior to it happening and then another one right before it happened. Last Friday, the snow and ice struck again, smashing the windshield and hood of this car outside of a Wells Fargo bank, causing $5,000 in damage. This year we've had an abundance of snow, which is great because we're a ski resort town, but it does come with some hazards and one of them being that uh, sometimes uh, it can fall off roofs. Officials say luckily no one was hurt in either instance, but we can't rely on luck every time. Hazel Riggs says residents should start paying attention to the snow buildup on the roof once it reaches 6 to 12 inches. Some other steps you can take to prevent ice and snow damage. Use heat tape on your roof to help with the buildup. Knock down any growing icicles near walkways and parking areas. Hire a contractor to shovel the snow off your roof once it starts piling up. But even when you're out and about, Hazel Rig advises being aware of your surroundings, being looking up, being aware of what like icicles, ice dams, ice and snow buildup is above you, what kind of ice or um, snow buildup is on the ground, etc. Reporting in Park City, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. Now, experts also advise to be aware of snow and ice buildup around your gas meters. They say that that can cause shifts and leaks, which could increase the chance of an explosion.